Okay, so when do you change the CO2 cartridge on your soda stream maker? There is not a meter or anything on that on that uh, thing or this device that tells you when it's low. So, but the instructions up here on the top says so there should be a loud buzz, right? A really loud buzz when you when you push this uh, that button right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook this thing up. Okay, we got to hook it up here. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but it goes on here. Yeah, twist it. I'm trying to do this with one hand, not very easy. Okay. So see, it screws right on there, just kind of like you put the it's same shape as the as this, right, cap. So you just screw it up on there. All right, so you go up here, you press the button. Keep pressing it. It's taking a while. See that? You don't hear a loud buzz yet. Okay, there's no buzz at all. I did this the other day, and I heard a It was really short. But that means that we need to change the cartridge. So, all right. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and change that cartridge then. So this is what we got to do. We got to pull, pull this out. You will see a better light in here. There is a button here. And there's a button here. Okay, so you got to push in on both sides, and you just move this up. That's all you do. All right, so that's the cartridge right there. So now what we got to do is unscrew it. All right, so. Shouldn't be too hard here. Let's go ahead and get the bottle off for the moment. I think we got a little bit of uh, carbonation, but probably not a whole lot. So I'm going to take this off here. Ah, great camera work. Got to love it here. All right, put the lid on there so it doesn't. Ah, I'm getting attacked by stuff against the wall. Okay. Take this off because it'll fall off if you don't. All right, so we need to unscrew this from this. Here. Okay. Not, shouldn't be too hard. Right? Just, you know, use your hand and untwist it. That's all you got to do. Working on it. There we go. Okay. So there it is. And yes, you can reuse these. Now you don't actually fill them up. What you do is you take them into your SodaStream dealership. Uh, ours would be Walmart. You just go to the customer service. They usually have it there, and they exchange it for like half the price. You get a brand new one for half the price of what it normally costs. Yeah, those are all my flavors. And you get yourself one of these. So they won't give you the box. I got the box because I paid for it. And then I keep my box so I can get the new ones in there. That's our new one. It's got a lid on it. So what you're going to do here is you're going to take the green lid off. Now you can throw that away or you know you just put it, you know, I don't want to confuse that. We'll throw it away. I might think, oh hey, look, it's a new one. Alright, so Ooh. that came out. Okay. So that's in place. Alright, so 
what we need to do is you're going to lift, basically, just put it on the side, and put it in this way. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to put it up on top like that, right? So you saw how I put it underneath, okay? There's a reason for that, because if you try to put it in the other way, well, you might be able to do it, you know, if you put it in this way, but I just find it easier going up from underneath. That's why I took that thing off, because otherwise it falls off and stuff. So you link it up to here, and I'm just trying not to put it upside down, but you just uh, screw it in. That's all you do. That should be, should be in real good there. Okay, so it's tight. It's in there. And we'll go ahead and we'll set this thing back on here somehow. Okay, there we go. There, snaps. So little buttons just kind of... Uh, Little buttons there just kind of snapped out when it came on here. So, all right, so we'll put our little spill spill container there. And now you'll hear the difference when we hook our bottle up. All right, so it's hooked up. Go to the bush. We push the button, you uh, press it until you start hearing the loud buzz, and you can do it three times and get yourself some good carbonation. So here we go. Yes. If you hear the fart sounds, you are good. You are carbonated. Yes, hissing sound. And you got yourself... Fresh carbonated water. All right, and that's how you change the CO2 carbonator by Soda Stream. Love it. Awesome.